Hey guys, Katrina here to Zappa Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today is Easter Sunday, which means it's the end of the EDS UK Great British Bacon Challenge. So I decided to make, or attempt to make, a zebra cake using uh, both vanilla cake mix and chocolate cake mix to make the stripes. So come join me. I have already made the chocolate mix up. I did that to save time, so I'm going to go ahead and make the vanilla cake mix now. For this cake, you will need either 250 ml of vegetable oil or 240 grams of melted butter, either 460 ml of water or milk, six eggs, two large bowls and two large cake tins. I'm now using this big spoon, I'm going to pour the contents of both bowls into the bacon tins that are pre-lined here and I'm going to alternate between uh, the chocolate bowl and the vanilla bowl to create the stripes. Just one spoon at a time. I like my uh, stripes to be big so I picked a big spoon. You can also make a rainbow zebra cake with this, but uh, some food colorings don't agree too well to, with me, so I prefer just to do this. And don't worry about the paper, it will set on itself once you, you get more contents into it. Now for the white bowl, or the vanilla. What I'm doing here is just putting one spoon of each colour in each bowl, or tin, sorry.
Now you put them into the oven for uh, 23 to 28 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. You can sort of see the stripes there. Well, I can anyway, and it smells gorgeous. Now we'll leave them to cook. Now to get it out of the oven and check to see if it's cooked in the middle. They are ready. Just look at that marble in effect, I think that's beautiful. And the other one's the same too. When I slice into it tomorrow, uh, or whenever I get the, the icing done, you'll see the stripes. Now it says to let them cool in the tin for 10 minutes, but as it's quite late, at 8.55 p.m. on Easter Sunday, I'm going to leave it to cool overnight, and then tomorrow I will do the icing. But the smell is gorgeous. Right, well here's how the cakes turned out. Don't worry about this uh, dipping, that's just where the paper got caught up in the mixture. But these things happen. You can really see the marbling effect in the better light. As you can see my countertop is rather dusty. That was because I was having an attempt at making icing. But as you Follow this channel, you will have seen my other cake making video, and icing doesn't agree with me, so I uh, had to just do without and go 
What's the this here that I had in my cupboard? Vanilla icing, and which I'm going to squirt on. Thank you, Max. Max has just opened the door again. I'm going to put the ring of the cake tin around the, the bottom part of the cake first. And then that's just to keep it sort of from moving about too much. And then I'm going to fill my little uh, syringe thing up for medicine. Okay, so after putting on the uh, inside icing, it should look like that. I find this uh, syringe thing, or whatever you call it, a bit better than putting it on with a spoon. It's a bit easier and a lot less messy. Now to put on the top part. The top part isn't as bad as the bottom one. I can't wait to try this. Just push it down a little bit. And then put some more icing on the top. I'm not doing anything fancy, like I'm just plonking it on there. Okay, I might have to admit the feet and put on a bit with a knife, but that's my fault because I didn't buy enough icings. And plus I thought the other stuff was going to work as well, but I should have known better given my past history with icing. Alright, now time to see if it turned out all. I know it might not be perfect, but it's better. I think it makes it uh, look nicer when it's not perfect. If you look at the ones in the cakes in the shop that you can get, they kind of look machine made, really, because they are. But it's always better to make it at home anyway. Here we go. Gonna fall apart now. Now for the moment of truth to see if the stripes come out or not. It did sort of. Now let's go into the living room and try it out. Alright, here goes. If you can see the, the stripes did kind of turn out well. That is gorgeous. And vanilla and chocolate to mix together make, makes it really nice. So that's the end of the EDS UK Great British Bacon. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed taking part in it. It was a fun thing to do. Again, it's okay if you can't do some things in this series, but it's okay to have help as well. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe by clicking below. And remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.